Right, I'm going to start the recording. Um, okay, guys, welcome. Good morning. Um, all right, so the topic of today is uh, how to how to use Revit to uh, be more energy efficient in your designs and your buildings. Um, and um, it's basically just a an overview of what's in there if you haven't, uh, um, you know, made an effort to actually go and look at these uh, sort of things in it. And, and that's basically the idea with these webinars, is just to broaden your horizons, just to give you uh, some more info on uh, what's available and uh, what to kind of uh, um, use. All right, so what I'm going to uh, just uh, go and do is to just uh, look at the introduction of, um, you know, the topic and what we're going to look at. Um, firstly, we're going to look at the sun and, and orientation and shadows and how to use that to uh, affect your your um, energy efficiency in your building. Um, you know, the, the building envelope, what can we look at uh, inside walls, floors, roofs, and that sort of thing. Uh, your building components like uh, the fenestration elements. What we're gonna, uh, what can uh, we look at that, um, and uh, that would might affect your, uh, uh, how that might affect your uh, uh, energy efficiency in the in the building. All right. Um, we're also gonna look at uh, third party apps as well as the built in insight tool, um, and uh, and then we'll uh, conclude uh, with the session. All right. So. Um, Okay, so I'm going to just uh, uh, go to the next slide. Um, right, so obviously energy efficiency is, is high on the, uh, in the uh, focus of uh, architects and designers and even engineers um, because it is basically uh, affects the climate change negatively if we overuse uh, our resources. Right, so the idea is to minimize use of these resources, uh, specifically in our buildings. A large portion of these uh, energy is used in our buildings, um, you know, with uh, uh, use of air conditioning and heating and, and uh, water heating and uh, uh, also just uh, uh, lighting. All right, so if we can use these tools to our advantage, um, we can do our part in reducing climate change. All right, so that's basically the the idea. Um, obviously, we're going to look at some of the tools within Revit and uh, a little bit of uh, the external tools. Okay, so the f first uh, first major one um, that's been around and uh, everybody knows of it, but um, it basically allows you to set up your uh, date, time, and place of your building. Um, you will be able to set up uh, your orientation of the building. And then with those set up, you can then um, predict where the sun and the shadows would be at certain times of the day. And uh, with that, you can then also design your uh, uh, building su as such to, to reduce the, the, uh, um, the direct sun uh, using uh, 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 shading devices on your facades. Um, looking at uh, the prevailing winds um, and uh, designing natural ventilation through your building and that sort of thing. All right, so um, this this is a, a, a visual factor. Uh, it's a nice to have. It also uh, gives you uh, a, a nice visual impact on uh, you know your building if you you add or turn on shadows. But the idea is to to design your building based on the sun. Uh, and, and, and and shadows. Right, um, obviously if the building is uh, 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 designed as such that you'll minimize the, the heat inside the building and uh, in so doing reduce the use of um, you know air conditioning to cool down that heat um, perhaps have natural light coming in uh, reducing the, uh, the need for for uh, excess lighting. Right, so that sort of thing is um, uh, is critical, um, and uh, and that's the first first one. Uh, in the little image there at the bottom, um, there's just a uh, 
uh, a little image of uh, uh, the the sun paths in uh, across winter and summer. Um, obviously, um, summer it's um, you know uh, more above the building. In winter, it's more uh, of coming in from a lower level. Right. Um, the settings there. It's just a, a screenshot of basically uh, the date, time, and place that you can select. There's various uh, sun studies that you can uh, generate and also uh, export as a video to uh, pr prove a point, basically. Um, obviously, the, the mapping can also be used to pinpoint where your uh, building would exist. Right, so all of this is um, basically allow you to um, uh, 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 just design your building around you know, the sun and how it will uh, affect your building. Right, and how it will reduce perhaps the uh, energy usage. Right, the next one is um, you know the building envelope. Um, that's critical. Uh, here we uh, or Revit looks at you know the materials used, the thicknesses of those materials, and um, built into this whole materials system is also a, a set of assets, uh, thermal assets, and these assets. Um, could be brick insulation, etc. So, uh, on the left-hand side in that picture, there is a uh, wall. Each wall has got a certain layer, uh, and that's the material. It's nice and visual. Um, but each of those materials could also have a thermal uh, equivalent or a thermal asset. Now, that asset has a specific uh, thermal conductivity uh, or K value, um, and uh, based on the thickness of that layer, it'll produce the the R value of that specific layer. Now, if you if you add all these layers up, you'll get the R value of your wall, uh, floor, or roof. Right, and that's critical um, because of um, uh, we will we'll see that just now in the next slide. But uh, it's critical to retain heat or um, or not. Okay. Right. So basically, um, the R value basically allows it's it's a it's a measurement that uh, determines the uh, the transfer of heat through that uh, element. So for instance, if you, uh, in winter, you heat up your internal room, and uh, if you've got uh, a low R value, uh, that heat will escape through the wall um, and uh, windows and, and that sort of thing. At this point, uh, we just focus on the, the R values of the walls and the ceilings and the floors. Um, so obviously the thickness of these insulation or components um, determines the, the R value. There's a little uh, on the right hand side. There's a little screenshot of a, a formula. Um, basically, the K value is at the bottom and thickness is at the top, and that determines the uh, um, the, the R value. Right. Um, okay. So also in maybe summer, um, it's hot outside, cool inside, um, and again, the uh, uh, thermal conductivity of the the wall determines how that it uh, uh, comes into the building and, and, and that sort of thing. All right, so looking at these R values uh, could increase the performance of your building uh, without, you know, um, uh, thinking too much um, and, and doing, uh, you know, calculations within South Africa. There's a bylaw that you can, uh, um, there's certain things that needs to, to happen, but um, Revit has got this built in. Um, and, and you as a designer, and you can clip onto that and use that to your advantage to uh, design a better building uh, more efficiently, etc. Okay, right. So continuing with that uh, uh, vein of thought, um, the fenestration elements, so the doors, windows, um, and and curtain walls, those sort of things also has in Revit a built-in uh, R value. So if you click on a uh, or select a window or door go to its properties and you'll actually see uh, these analytical properties. Um, it can be single glazing, double glazing, it can, uh, it can actually also have custom values and you can type in your own values there. Right, um, in that little uh, area where the arrow points to, um, there's just a single glazing that's been selected, but as I said, it can also be customed, uh, selected, and you can type in your own values, but that one has uh, its own R value uh, as well, so or uh, yeah, K value, which um, or an R value. So um, that 
also allows you to use that and perhaps you know select a different type of glazing to improve the, the performance uh, exactly the same as as I explained on the internal room so the uh, the heat escapes from the room or uh, um, comes in from the outside All right so looking at these values within uh, windows doors etc you can also improve your energy efficiency All right obviously the the higher the R value uh, the better is the insulation or the performance All right um, then there's tools within built in inside of Revit uh, which allow you to um, take all this in consideration and provide a, uh, a value, be it X. Right, this value will then uh, be recorded. If you change your design, you, you create this uh, 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 calculation again and you might have maybe improving walls and, and window performances with the R values and that, you can uh, get a value called X minus 10. So then you know you're on the right track because this tool allows you to increase the performance of your building, thus decreasing the energy uh, usage, right, increasing the energy efficiency. Right, that tool is called Insight. And uh, Insight can, there's different ways to use Insight. You can have a conceptual model. Uh, it's basically just an energy model. You, you give uh, one set of values for the whole building and it gives you a, uh, a, 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 an amount X. Um, you could also delve deeper into each component, like I mentioned with regards to the uh, windows and doors, which is, each have a thermal property or uh, uh, R value, and you can use that to define more precise values. Um, uh, you know, uh, in this whole insight uh, tool. Right. Um, there's a process, obviously, that you need to go through to, uh, you know, get to the uh, end result, um, and it includes both, uh, you know, the energy model uh, includes uh, uh, insight uh, tool on the web, so it uploads your model uh, or energy model to the web. It does a calculation on online, and it produces uh, some results. All right, um, in that little. Uh, Toolbar on the right hand side, you also see there's a lighting and a solar little button. Um, there's also uh, uh, small tools that allow you to uh, check your surfaces for solar uh, panels, um, the viability of these uh, uh, solar panels. If you place it on the roof on the southern side, is it more viable if you place it on the northern side, etc. So there's a little tool like that, as well as a lighting tool. This lighting tool. Uh, gives you uh, natural light on the inside of your building that uh, uh, comes through on uh, through your windows and doors, and you can then uh, uh, reduce lighting that that way. You know, um, based on you know the date, time, and place, and uh, and the, if there's adequate natural lighting inside your building. So these tools uh, prove to maybe your client or yourself um, that you're on the right track. Um, and not uh, you know just just thumb sucking uh, values and and things and you can visually see um, that this is the level of lighting inside your your uh, entertainment area or inside your uh, bedroom and you can actually see uh, uh, you know what's happening right um, okay so without turning on lights so all these little uh, tools allow you to design your building prove and increase uh, energy efficiency. All right. Okay, there's just a little bit of a, a, a screenshot on, on the inside web tool on the left-hand side. Um, you've obviously uploaded your model, um, and uh, it's got certain, in the middle, there's a, there's a little bit of a, a, a bars, and these bars, each time you're doing a new calculation, those, those energy bars, basically those uh, 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 blue lines over here, um, the, the one on the left was maybe the first calculation, the one on the right is the last calculation, and as you go through the process, each time calculating uh, uh, values, it will then reduce the energy efficiency, you know, the X minus 10, X minus 20, X minus uh, uh, 
pity. So you obviously want to to have as a, a, a lower score as possible. Obviously, that uh, equals the the most energy efficient. All right. Um, it obviously looks at very or it could look at the various components like uh, we discussed. Uh, you know, the the walls, doors, windows, and um, and and how they're constructed. What are the R, R values? The orientation of the building, and it gives you that uh, value x. All right, so it gives you a, a good insight um, to your model. Right. Okay. So this, all these tools um, are built inside of Revit and uh, are available. Uh, we also have external tools that uh, you can use uh, to to look at uh, this sort of topic. Um, and there's one called SandScalc. Um, this is a tool that uh, are developed. Uh, uh, as per the SANS 10400XA um, a couple of years ago and uh, basically creating uh, um, a set of or using the set of rules defined by the, uh, uh, the, the SANS 204 and just put it in a, uh, a, a little program. It's like a glorified Excel sheet. All the calculations are in the background. You just put inputs. Uh, does the calculations and it, you get then the results. That results can either fail or succeed according to the, um, you know, the, uh, the, the predefined uh, uh, factors that uh, the SANS 204 determine. Right. Um, those set of bylaws or the, uh, uh, um, obviously uses a certain amount of components like the doors, windows, the floor areas, uh, the orientation of the buildings and the, the glazing uh, elements. Um, what we've done is we've, uh, we've exported those information from the Revit model. So it's orientation, all the, uh, the windows, doors, the floor areas, and you can actually then export that information from your Revit model uh, and into this uh, uh, SansCalc uh, application. There is, there's actually two uh, applications, uh, SansCalc. There's a desktop one and there's an online one. Uh, the desktop one, obviously, you install. It's a little uh, uh, program and uh, you you add your your, your uh, information in here, you get a result. Uh, the online one is, uh, is a website where you can log in and uh, anywhere and uh, there's no installations and you do kind of the same thing. Um, and uh, Right, so what this does, this caters specifically for the uh, SANS 204 uh, fenestration calculations and, and building uh, efficiency so that you can pass your, your plans. Right, um, you can visit uh, uh, the website SANSCALC.co.za there and just read up uh, more on it. But um, there are this specifically linked with Revit um, and uh, it saves you a lot of time of, of inputting each element uh, uh, in in the application, so you just export all the little doors and windows, in, input it into the, the little app, and you just need to fill in a couple of information. Like over here, these are um, imported, but some of the p and and, and uh, g values haven't been added. So you would just select all of them and uh, uh, add a, a p and g value over here, and it'll just uh, uh, add them to all of those windows. All right, and you'll get uh, results later on. You also can add multiple glazing and. And, and frame types using the, the, the particular tools. All right, so yes, the um, just on that note, uh, we are aware that the ten, uh, the ten, uh, there's a new, uh, uh, they're working on the new uh, standards, the ten four hundred XA standards uh, for 2021 or 2020, um, and we have a, a brief look at, uh, we had a look at it briefly, um, and uh, you know if it's viable, we will. Uh, We'll change our sans calc to to uh, suit uh, the new calculations. Um, just as a, a brief uh, overview, we did see that it, the calculations are uh, much less, so it's easier to do. Um, on my first little uh, uh, overview, uh, looking at that, so um, that's good news. Um, so they might not be uh, uh, kind of a, a useful for for kind of um, intricate uh, uh, calculations and that, but We'll see when it uh, um, when it lands, and, and then we'll we'll uh, um, see if it's viable to just change sans calc and that sort of thing. All right, but uh, great, there is a 
little app that caters for the South African market and um, that uh, yeah, can be used. Right, then that's basically the, the discussion. Um, I just wanted to give you an overview of what's available inside Revit and how you can actually use that to create more energy efficiency in your buildings. Right, and obviously, um, if you have any uh, uh, questions, please uh, maybe type it in the uh, chat box and then uh, we can cover it uh, as well as um, you can obviously contact us uh, at, at Micrographics and uh, give us uh, some input if you uh, have any questions. Right, um, okay, so I'm gonna, uh, my, my second screen is uh, a little bit off, but uh, uh, thank you for attending. I'm gonna stop the recording and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll uh, uh, answer the questions, if any.